Today I'm going to review the Bushnell Wingman Mini. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's great to be back after a summer break. Today I'm going to review the Bushnell Wingman Mini. Now this is an audible GPS device and a Bluetooth speaker. Now no music on the course is pretty controversial, so we can have a chat about that. But this is quite a nice piece of kit. It can clip on your bag, it's got a magnet to stick to a cart. I'm going to try this out, see what it's like for the audio and see what it's like for the GPS as well. With Bushnell you also get a really cool app. We can put all these stats and everything. This is telling me what to do. I'm on the fantastic 17th hole here at Fulford, Bernard Langer's hole. So let's try this out on the course for the distances. I'll compare it to my other Bushnell and then we'll talk about the tech. So Bushnell, what have I got on this hole? Hole 17, part four, center 357 yards, front 336, back 374. So looking at the app, it's telling me 225 off the tee, leaves just over 130 in. Tricky hole is you don't want to take drive, but you can get blocked out really easily. And there is water down there for the big hitters. So let's see if that's a three iron. First swing of the day and I've had no breakfast. And you know what I'm like when I've had no breakfast? Pretty nice. When my golf spy reviewed the Wingman Mini, they gave it a score of 92 out of 100, which is fantastic. That puts it right up there with the best quality compact Bluetooth audio devices out there. Now the 17th will always be remembered as Bernard Langer's hole. Obviously went in the tree down there by the green, but it's a beautiful hole. It's really challenging because from the tee, it looks like the widest fairway in the world. But because you've got the big oak tree down there, you've got to be playing from the left-hand side of the fairway. So you're really aiming at left-hand side of the fairway here. And you've got the big trees on that side. I didn't miss those by much, but I'm now in the Lord Mayor's office. That's not bad before breakfast. Middle of the fairway on 17, happy days. I now want to test the accuracy of the Wingman Mini against my Bushnell Rangefinder. Now, of course, we're assuming this is accurate, but I think these things are generally pretty good. So let's see what I've got left going into this green. Hole 17, part four, center 151 yards, front 132, back 169. So it's saying the front is 132 and the middle is about 150. It is a yellow flag. We have huge greens here at Fulford. This green on here is 37 yards long. We have a traffic light system of red flag at the front, yellow in the middle, white at the back. Let's see what we get with the rangefinder. Rangefinder saying 134. This said 132 front. So when we get down there, we'll measure how far this is on the green. Okay, 134. This time in the morning, I think that's a gentle eight. I've just walked back from the green, so I've got a bit of a concern. When I measured that, it said the middle was 151 on here. The flag on there said 135. That flag is on the middle of the green. Let's see what we've got from here. Hole 17, part four, center 119 yards, front 99, back 136. Center 119. 113th, so that's a bit more accurate. That's six yards discrepancy with the rangefinder. Whilst it's quiet on the course, I just want to do another test because music on the course is very controversial. Some courses won't allow it. Some courses, perhaps people do it and nobody knows. So I'm 25 yards away from my trolley. Let's play some music 
and see if we can hear it. I've got that cranked up to the top volume. I can hear that from here. Now 25 yards is a reasonable distance, I guess, from a, a green to a tee. You've got to be very mindful of the golfers. So it's not mega loud, but I can certainly hear it. Interesting. From 10 yards away now, quite a bit louder. It's not super, super loud. It's not super offensive, but you can hear it. <laughs> Just had a slight incident there. You've got to be mindful that this is connected to your phone via Bluetooth. So if you don't turn off notifications, if you don't enable Do Not Disturb, your phone will ring via the speaker. So everyone's just heard the Top Gun theme tune, you know, whilst I've been out on the golf course, bit embarrassing. But hey, you never leave your wingman, right? Huge greens here. Let's see how far this flag is actually on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 paces on. So that's sort of just about halfway, pretty much bang in the middle, maybe by two yards. On the app, you can see what the battery life is of the device. Bushnell say you'll get 10 hours of this, so you should be able to get at least two rounds out of it between charges. That's pretty good. Okay, now we know that this flag is only two yards short of centre. I'm gonna do a few more tests around this hole and see what results we get against the rangefinder. So far, I think it's okay. Let's just see a few more tests. Hole 17, part four, centre 40 yards, front 23, back 58. And the app is pretty cool as well. I've noticed on the app you can get different distances to different places. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that said 40 yards with the Bushnell rangefinder. 38, and it is two yards shy, so that's bang on. That's fantastic. Okay, let's try it out from over here. That's relief. I don't know what happened in the middle of the fairway there earlier, but the last two I've done have been spot on, which is great. Okay, let's try it the other way around. So let's go rangefinder first. Rangefinder says 55. So we know that's two yards out. Hole 17, part four, 55 yards to the pin, front 36. Well, wow. just off the green, two putts for par. That would make breakfast taste nicer. Let's have that in breakfast. I know what you're saying, different episode, different putter. Three footer now. Just hate golf, hate it. Could I do a YouTube channel on fishing or something? Okay, we've checked it out on the course. Now let's check out the tech. When you get one of these, in the box comes the speaker, the little carabiner clip. That seems pretty good quality, I think. I think that'd be okay. And the USB-C charger. You don't get a plug, just charges up there. Charges pretty quickly, I found. You've got your volume buttons there. You control everything through the Bushnell button, so one click. Hole 17. It's giving you yardages. Four, 48 yards to the pin. Front 31, back 66. You can also put some custom noises on it as well, like this. There's also some audible first tee introductions. So it'll say on the tee, Paul Hemlin, which I think is pretty cool. So that's quite good fun. My Zach loves this. I got this in this for his birthday present. You know, you've just got to be mindful of noise traveling. So this weighs six ounces. It weighs absolutely nothing. It's really well made. It's 100% waterproof as well. There's over 38,000 courses mapped on this. On the back, you've got the Bushnell Bite magnet. You know, that's really good. You can bang that on your cart. We use that when we were in Ibiza recently. Went on quite a bumpy track, quite a hilly course, didn't drop off once, didn't move once. I was really happy with how secure that was. So I thought that was pretty good. 95 pounds, I think there's quite a lot of tech in there. What do you think? Handily placed on the top, you've got the volume buttons up and down. You've got the on off button there and this triangle button, if you press that, that'll start the music. And that'll stop the music as well, which is quite important if you are on the course and you're getting near some other golfers and the sound quality is fantastic. OK, 
case, we can't put it off any longer. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. Is there a place for music on the golf course? Now, I think it's a bit more common in the States, but I'm seeing it creeping in more and more here in the UK. On the Golf Show social media, I put a poll out yesterday on Instagram and on our Twitter accounts. If you're not following us on the socials, I'll put the details in the descriptions below. And if you're not subscribing, actually, would you mind subscribing? It would really help me out. Okay, so on Instagram, 62% said yes, there was a place for music on the golf course. 38% said no. On Twitter, the other way around, so maybe a slightly different age demographic. On Twitter, 45% said no, 55% yes. If you add all those votes up together, overall, 54% said music should be allowed on the golf course. Controversial. On the Bushnell Golf app, you can add your scores, hit fairways hit, greens hit, number of putts, keep all your stats. Zach started using that as well. You can just do it on the phone while out on the course. Really easy to use. The Bushnell app is excellent. The Bushnell app is available for your phone on Apple and on Android. It's pretty quick, very intuitive as well. I've only used this for sort of a round or so. Connects really quickly to your device, then it works out which courses are nearby to you. You then tap on whichever course it is. 38,000 courses are mapped on there. Change your settings, your handicap, then it starts to download the course, does that pretty quickly. The default is to start on the first hole, however I was stood near the 17th. Just press the number one at the top, quickly change it to 17, all very intuitive. You need to have your phone connected the whole time and it will drain about 20 or 30% of your phone's battery. Okay, so the Bushnell Wingman Mini. 95 quid, that's an absolute yes from me. 95 pounds for an audible GPS device is great. Plus you're getting the speaker, which if you use that responsibly, you're not gonna get into any trouble, you're not gonna upset anybody. Perhaps having a bit of music on the course could encourage some juniors to come and play golf where they think it's a bit of a boring old man's sport. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your comments on this because this is going to be super controversial. But for me, £95, worth the money. I'm definitely going to use this for winter golf. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that review. It's not just driver tests and course review here on the golf show. We do all manner of reviews. Bluetooth speaker, who would have thought that we would read one of those on a golf show? If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you really enjoyed it, tell your friends and give us a subscribe, please. See you next time on the golf show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.